the newest age-defined breakthroughs. Okay, so if you want to look younger now, top New York dermatologist Dr. Lisa Iron is here to share the newest age-defying techniques to erase years from your face. I understand you have a new use for Restylane. Yes. Well, okay, tell us what yes. that is. Okay, Restylane is a substance that's used for filling in lines and wrinkles in okay. the face. Is that a collagen? No, too? it's not collagen. It's a natural sugar gel. Hyaluronic acid is the technical term. As you get older, you tend to lose volume in your face. Yeah. And in the old days, the concept was, oh, we'll come in and we'll cut and we'll pull. Yeah. And a lot of people look very tight. Yeah. But they don't necessarily look younger, just Correct. tighter. They just look tight. Right. Tight. Please and... tell them that. <laughs> yeah. So what we're aiming at as a profession now in the cosmetic profession is to add volume. Oh, good. So it's a natural sugar gel. It's okay. Uh, I'm liking this. I'm liking like in the Restylane thing. Here's before and after of Restylane under the eyes. Let's look. I developed a procedure with one of my colleagues where we could use Restylane underneath the skin in the lower rim of the lid to actually push the skin forward and help patients with this problem of looking tired and having dark circles because there weren't a lot of great, easy, short Because in the past you would, you would cut that and pull it up, right? Yeah, but it's the same concept. You pull, it's tight, but you still don't have the volume. And so how often this would she have This will last to... for about a year. Sometimes it lasts longer. Great. I like that. Thank you, Dr. Lisa Island. <laughs> we'll be uh, right back. <laughs> Immediately following that show, Reggie flew to New York for his under-eye transformation with Dr. Iron. Dr. Aaron briefs him on the procedures. First, he'll have injections of Restylane. What I'm doing is adding volume back into his face, which is definitely going to help him to look younger all along the rim from here all the way out to here what i did i made a little incision there and then you put the cannula in and we removed the fat from the pocket if you compare the depth of his hollow from here over here it's a night and day difference i think he looks fantastic okay it's been two months since reggie's procedure coming out reggie Dr. Iron, how long? Um, I couldn't give three people makeup, and Reggie yeah. does your makeup, and it looks incredible right. yeah. the way he does your makeup. And then someone it's else different. uses the same makeup, and you don't get Botox. the same result. Yeah, he's and it's genius the same, in makeup. No, but Thank it's the same you. thing with Botox. Like, I'm a genius with Botox. Like, yeah. I can use it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and there's one luxury biz that may actually be benefiting from the economic blues, Botox. Cosmetic dermatologist Dr. Lisa Iron says she's never been busier. It's like they're not going to suddenly stop coloring their hair because the economy turned down. They're not suddenly going to stop coming in for their Botox injections. Even if maybe they have to scrimp somewhere else, they'll still get the Botox? You Absolutely. I mean, if it's a choice between the newest luxury handbag or looking as good as you can, I think people are always going to choose looking as good as they can. And then frown for me and then relax. So even though people may still be struggling in this economy, you may not see them frowning about it. Relax. I just love what I do. I love being a dermatologist. I think it's a great job. I feel really passionate about helping women to look as good as they can. What kind of procedures are the most popular? The most popular procedures are Botox and injectable filling substances. Do you think that there's almost an obsession in New York City? Um, I don't think it's an obsession because I think it's become a really acceptable mainstream phenomenon. For a lot of people, it's the same thing as, oh, I need to get my hair colored, I need to get my brows done, and I also need to go for my Botox. So it's not something that has a stigma attached to it, such as that's an obsession. Nobody would say you were obsessed because you needed to get your hair colored every month. And I view that in the same way. Somebody call at, like, call me at 10 o'clock the other night, and I was thinking, oh no, what's wrong? Because she's calling so late, and she was calling to say that she had just gone to a party, and people were telling her that she looked so amazing that she had to call me on the spot and tell me, which I thought was really cute. <laughs> Top New York City aesthetic dermatologist, Dr. Lisa Iron. So what are the, some of the biggest misconceptions, do you think, um, when it comes to black versus white skin or black and white skin? Well, in my practice, I treat patients of all color, from yes. the lightest skin white person to the darkest skin black patient. And one of the biggest misconceptions that I hear is that the darker skin patients, when they come in, they're not aware that they can get things like Botox and fillers and different things like that. Like, they feel like, oh, I might get a scar if I get that treatment and I'm always like no you can get Botox and fillers also well I know our audience has a lot of skin questions for you are you ready for some questions sure. who has a question do white women wrinkle faster than black women Absolutely. and I also noticed that white women go and get Botox more often than black women do well it's actually true that white women age more quickly than black women do and the reason why is because 
white women don't have as much protection from the sun. If you could choose, you would definitely choose to be darker skinned because you'll stay younger looking longer. So you're basically saying it's our opinion. <laughs>